I told myself over the weekend your girl was gonna get back to just vlogging her life because I get stuck in these cycles of like, oh, I have nothing to film. Like, I don't know what I wanna post. And then I get in these cycles where I'm like, just film everything you're doing no matter if it's boring or random. Anyways, it's been a really good morning so far because I found two new songs that I'm obsessed with. I put the most fire songs on my Instagram stories when I post an Instagram post. That's where I put all my new music. So like, if you're ever needing new music, especially EDM, check my Instagram story when I post an Instagram photo because those will be some popping songs, okay? I'm gonna make some coffee. I haven't made any yet. I would like to show you guys how absolutely beautiful she looks. The lady that grooms her usually, her name's Miranda and she loves her so much. She takes such good care of her that she like followed me on Instagram and like responds to the stories of Callie. It's so freaking cute. So it just makes you so happy that there's so many people that love her just as much as we do. I have that new song stuck in my head right now. I cannot wait to go listen to it. I am going to be changing my hair again this week. Every time I'm vlogging, I'm like about to change my hair. I'm not actually changing it a lot or anything like that. I just realized I don't like the darkness on me. I like it to be a little bit lighter. And I don't like my front pieces as blonde i don't think i don't think we're gonna do that anymore i think we're just gonna do like a natural brown color like a light brown for my front piece and then like a darker brown hair you know just like regular i go to my lady every eight weeks so it gives me an opportunity that i probably shouldn't have to get my hair done or do something new with it i think i just want to be a little more like natural hair color so i'll show you guys that when i get it done my tried and trues nut pods toasted marshmallow specifically that's my new favorite nut pods flavor ever it tastes so freaking good especially when you mix it with this i could easily be drinking like a 60 gram of sugar coffee because i love me some coffee some sweet coffee but this helps lately i've been having way too much caffeine too i'm trying to like cut back on caffeine a little bit if i'm being honest just woke up. I don't really have much to do this week and feel like I haven't posted a YouTube video in a while. So I'm like, why don't we just film your day, your week? I don't know. I have a few errands to do. Last week was crazy. I feel like so much has happened. Like, should I just like catch you up? I don't even know. Last week, I had to get a ton of car repairs, which actually we're needing to get done for a while. We were just putting it off. Seb paid my deductible for me. So I got out of that without paying anything, which is very nice. So that was like a whole thing last week. I think it was last week as well. It was either Monday or the week before. I like went to go turn on my microwave. There was like the day of Mercury retrograde or something when it started and I went to press cook time on my microwave and it just wouldn't go off. Like I would press any button and the microwave was just going and going and going and I was like so scared. I was like, is it gonna blow up? So Seb literally had to come home and like unplug it for me because I was too scared. And then I had the maintenance guy come and he literally just like replugged it in and it worked fine. <laughs> So when all of that craziness was happening, my TV went out. So, so like low-key Mercury retrograde and like the craziness of astrology right now, which if you're not into astrology, that's fine. Supposedly shit's supposed to be hitting the fan right now and it was for me for a minute and I was like, oh my god But it was like funny and I feel like I just like laughed it off and now like everything is fine and like just continues to get better But like there's just a minute there where like technology was not working for me at all I have EDC Las Vegas coming up, which is so crazy I feel like I just went last year. We leave on the 18th of May and so that's coming up pretty freaking soon I'm so excited. It's obviously my favorite festival ever. It's how my fiance and I met We were like, no, nah, we'll probably not go to EDC next year. We'll probably take a break and then like the last week or two We've been like yeah, we're gonna go again <laughs> We like know we cannot skip out on a year of EDC. We also considered getting married there I'm just not a wedding person like I don't want like some crazy wedding like all eyes on me I just don't I'm kind of thinking like how funny and ironic would it be if we literally got married under the electric sky Because you could do that. There's like wedding packages, but I told my parents and they weren't that happy about it I like low-key almost convinced my family to go but I don't think that they actually would and my mom just wants to like do something on the beach so i think i might just do like a beach wedding like very casual like very close-knit group of people and then just like a little reception i don't know finally getting the ring situation going i'm gonna wait to like change the design of the ring and i'm just gonna resize it to my size so we're just gonna like wait till we figure all that out and i'm just gonna like at least have it to wear for now because the resetting could be anywhere from like a thousand to two thousand realistically so we're just gonna do like the simple resize and then worry about that later don't forget to be grateful for everything you have do your manifestations do what you have to do to make the month amazing okay because may is gonna be a great month for us okay
It's gonna be a great month. I don't really know. I guess it was post vacation, but I literally probably gained it all on vacation. I weighed myself and I was five pounds higher. I was 117.9 and then I got down to 116.0 and then I've had my period my time of the month and I just haven't weighed myself yet but I've been eating really healthy controlling all of that but I had gained five pounds since going on vacation and I honestly think most of it I gained on vacation because of how many desserts I ate, how much food I ate, and how much alcohol I drank and I think I just like hadn't done the work to lose that or like really cared away myself. I'm trying to get to like one 13 again i don't know pretty much my lowest was 113 i was like 112.9 but that's like 113 i really don't know i'm just trying not to be so like weight focused i guess because i just feel like i am enjoying myself i'm just eating very healthy i'm eating plenty there definitely was times on my weight loss journey where you know you have to restrict yourself or you want to restrict yourself and you want to just keep going and try harder but i feel like now i'm just like not restricting myself that much so it's nice to just like still be in a fluctuation of a healthy weight for me um like i'm still in a very healthy weight nothing looks different nothing doesn't fit it's just i guess those five pounds i might be fluctuating for a while i don't really know what my body's doing right now but i remember last year i was like 116 to 118 for like the entire year and then like in september of last year i like dropped really fast and got to like 112.7 in october so like september october i like lost a bunch of weight i don't really know why so i kind of feel like my body just like holds on to like the 117 116 area for a hot minute and then it just psh. so who knows? I don't really care. I don't really have a crazy end goal to get to 110. If I do, cool. If I don't, I don't really care. Those are my life updates. And we're going to have a great fucking month. I'm so excited for EDC Las Vegas, you guys. I feel like my rave vlogs have been doing well lately. So I'm going to keep making them. I'm definitely filming EDC this year. We are not staying in a nice hotel this time. We're staying at our shuttle stop this time. So we don't have to get Ubers back to our hotel and like make that so difficult when we get back on the shuttles in the morning, you know? It's just, it's going to be so much easier to be staying at the hotel that our shuttle stop is at. But it's not that nice. So that's the only thing that's going to be different because last year we had like a luxury Airbnb. So it's literally just a place to sleep for EDC because you are just out the whole time and I think Thursday we're gonna try to go to like a nice dinner potentially or we're gonna try to go to maybe the botanical gardens at the Bellagio I think and it like changes with the seasons so I really want to do that Thursday and then we get to go to EDC all weekend and then Callie's gonna be good at her hotel here she's gonna be chilling she's staying in California this time and not coming to Vegas with us like she did last year she stayed at a Las Vegas puppy hotel and then like in our Airbnb it was a mess like I'm not even kidding it created so much stress last year for us and it wasn't her her fault it was our fault for like not pre-planning and having a place here but last year we figured out a great place for her to go here that we like feel so comfortable with like literally love them so much so we're all good to go with that stuff but like it was so stressful last year because she was like obviously just so uncomfortable and i just felt so bad i was so worried about her like it was so stressful honestly plus i was on my time of the month the entire edc last year it was not fun and this year i'm not gonna be on it and i'm so excited we're gonna go ham my list of people I want to see at EDC each day just gets longer and longer. Like, there's so many artists that, like, I've never seen before and barely even heard of. I listened to their music on Apple Music, and I was like, oh my god, you're so good. I, and I would have never known had I not looked you up. So, look up everyone on the lineup. It will change your mind. I thought it was kind of like a mid-lineup in the beginning, but now I'm like, I love it. I'm gonna chill here with Callie and maybe make some breakfast. I don't know. Okay, so as i am the queen of healthy cooking so i have my delicious healthy cookies in the oven right now these can be really good for like breakfast cookies i like to eat them for breakfast a lot of the time i don't measure anything so literally just follow your gut but i mixed oats one egg or you can use an egg substitute and then i used pb2 powder a little tiny bit of monk fruit sweetener sugar-free white chocolate and regular chocolate chips and a dash of cinnamon and then i just rolled them into little balls patted them down because they don't like expand or change shape so I just kind of pat them down into cookie shape put a little sea salt over it and then bake it for 15 minutes at 350. it's almost like a banana bread consistency but it's so delicious the next day i chopped my hair even more we chopped about an inch we want to go to like a more like natural brown we are going to keep the front piece just like maybe slightly lighter than the tone of my full head of hair i'm kind of living for it and like warm tones look best on me and then she took out one full row of extensions which wasn't even that much but i had two rows now i only have one row so that's gonna be faster and easier at appointments and literally it's so healthy my hair was actually really long my real hair was like way longer than this cut 
that right here so we have extra short hair now and i'm so happy with it um i need to eat because i literally have not eaten all day i still have a bunch of pictures to take i have like multiple outfits because i never look this cute let's be real this is like a 180 from what i look like on a normal basis it's actually ridiculous my options of things i have to eat right now is more fruit more fruit eggs peanut butter um so maybe i'll have like a can of beans is that weird i love eating cans of beans <laughs> i feel like that's such a weird thing to say i literally don't know what to eat right now you guys i had the best salmon ever yesterday though for dinner i make it for me and seb at least once a week so we have to have them in the house also these cauliflower hash browns by strong roots i get them at walmart i think you can get them like anywhere these are so freaking good and they're healthier than like regular hash browns. As for the salmon I recommend for healthy eating, it's this. And you can get it from Target. It's the honey chipotle flavor. And it says to cook it like 18 minutes. I literally cook it for 27 minutes and it gets like crispy and actually cooked. If you cook it for 18 minutes, it's literally raw. So I don't know why it says that on the directions. Cook it longer and it's really freaking good. Um, Maybe I'll make this right now. I literally don't know. I just know I'm starving. So I need to make something. Early the next morning. Good morning. Just wanted to have a morning chat. I literally was like thinking to myself and I was like, I'm just gonna pull up my camera and talk to them. I really don't know because like you guys know I can put on weight and lose weight so easily. Like honestly, like I can lose weight honestly easier than I gain weight. And I always didn't think that, but that's because I was eating so poorly and so many calories in a day. I was like 112.9, so basically like 113. I was 113 pounds for like three, four months, and then I went on the trip to Mexico, and then I weighed myself like last month, I don't know, I don't even know at this point, maybe like four weeks ago, and I was like 118, I was 117.9, exactly. And so I like ate really healthy, and I got to 116, which was like two pounds, so that's really good. But my body is not budging from 116, and I literally don't eat out i eat so healthy the only thing is i'm not very active and that's probably what it is like i'm very not active but i'm 116.5 i'm like how but i think my body prefers to be around like 116 i definitely want to be 110 like i'd feel really really good especially about my loose skin in my stomach i feel like even a few pounds like it makes my stomach look a little more squishy than i want it to look but sometimes it looks so flat like literally i wake up and i'm like damn like i have a flat tummy like that's crazy it really just depends but i definitely have loose skin there so so that sucks but and i'm just like not really feeling like pushing myself definitely want to start working out more eating even healthier than i do now maybe just for myself and like my insides but like i'm like kind of over just like trying to get to a goal it already looks so good i already did so much i feel like i'm just gonna keep pushing the goal post and it's just gonna keep stressing me out and i'm gonna really start not enjoying it i know i'll never go back to the way i was because i'm a completely different person inside and out i will never gain the weight back like genuinely but and i've already had it off for almost two years it's been like a year and a half that's crazy or when i started the weight loss journey i guess but man is it is it frustrating and you just don't want to live your life like that so i'm just gonna focus on being healthy and just keep my range probably between like 110 to 120 but not go over 120 because i am really short and i do prefer the way that i look when i'm around here or a little bit lower She knows the camera's on. She hates cameras. Can I have keys? Oh, uno beso. Uno beso. I think that's how you say it. I have a Spanish doggy. Oh, I love her. One more? Two more? <laughs>